Canned sardines, one of the gifts from the canned food world. I mean, they have such an amazing flavor. They're so healthy and they're loaded with proteins and omega-3s. Today, we're gonna grab some canned sardines and pair them up with a marinated bell pepper salad to create one of the most extraordinary dishes ever, guys. This is what great food is all about. This dish has such a beautiful, refreshing flavor. It is so easy to make and it's made with just a handful of ingredients. Now, to flavor the bell pepper salad, I am gonna be using some sherry vinegar. This is what gives this dish that beautiful Spanish touch and I'm also using an extra virgin Spanish olive oil. This one is from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company. This is the base fat of the salad. It's what really brings the entire dish together. So make sure to use your best stuff. You guys will find links where you can get these two amazing greens in the description box below. We're gonna begin by rinsing one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper under some cold running water and then patting each one completely dry. To cut the bell peppers, I like to cut off about half an inch from the bottom and then cut around it. That way there's no seeds involved. To make this recipe, I'm only gonna be using half of each bell pepper. I'm gonna cut each piece of the bell pepper into thin strips and then roughly chop it. And as you're cutting your bell peppers, add them into a large bowl. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab half of an onion. As you guys know, I always like to remove between one to two of the outer layers as it gives the onion a beautiful texture and it makes it so much easier to cut. And I'm gonna finely dice the onion. Once the onion's finely diced, add it into the bowl with the bell peppers. For the last vegetable to prepare, I'm gonna grab one large clove of garlic and finely mince it. And into the bowl it goes with the onions and the bell peppers. To flavor our vegetables, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sherry vinegar. If you don't have this, you can substitute it for red wine vinegar. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. and season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna mix this all together until everything's well mixed. This is the most important step in this recipe. You want that olive oil and that vinegar and those seasonings to be evenly divided through each piece of vegetable. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna cover the bowl with some saran wrap and add it to the fridge for at least 30 minutes. This is enough time for all these flavors to marinate together. After about 30 minutes, I took the bell pepper salad out of the fridge. Look how beautiful this turned out. For the final step, I'm gonna grab one can of Spanish sardines in olive oil. Very important that they're in olive oil, that way they're full of flavor. I'm gonna drain the oil from the tin into a bowl And let's start plating our dish. I'm gonna grab some of the marinated bell pepper salad, add it into a serving dish. Add a couple of the canned sardines on top. Remember to be very fragile with them as you're taking them out of the can as they easily break. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little freshly chopped parsley. Guys, our dish is done. Look how beautiful and healthy this looks. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. I seriously cannot wait to try this. This is what the Mediterranean diet is all about. Here we go. Bravo. 
first things first, those sardines are so good. Like I told you guys, so important to get the sardines that are in olive oil. It makes all the difference in the world, nice and meaty. And then you pair that up with that bell pepper salad. It's such a great harmony of flavors. This is one of the best things I've ever tasted. The perfect dish on a hot summer's day, but you can enjoy any time of the year. You guys saw so easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients and came together in a little under 40 minutes. Really quick before I go, a shout out to one of my patrons, Andres Judin. Uh, Andres, thank you very much for becoming a patron of Spain on a Fork. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. Help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.